Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we're going to talk a little bit about some juicy leaks I had in my hands concerning the Christmas event 2020. Just before jumping into it, I just want to remind you or at least tell you because maybe you're not aware, but this Christmas event is going to be extremely similar to the one we had in 2019. So I'm not going to jump into details and talk about it uh, too much, but all I want you to understand is that you are able to unlock a new tier 10 tank collectible pretty much every single year in those Christmas events. To do that, uh, you need to pay a lot of money because the Christmas event is actually the most pay to win event out of all. But even if it's pay to win, as a free to play player, you have a chance to get the new reward completely for free if the odds are with you because your chances of getting the tank is only or are only 1%. Now, that being said, let's jump directly into it. And first, we're going to talk about the odds in those crates that are coming, or snow globes, as we called it back in the days for the Christmas event 2019. It's simple. Those odds are totally different if we compare what kind of tanks you're looking for. Snow globes are this small thing you saw here, uh, the little blue blue stuff. Don't worry, as soon as the video pose on, gets on it, I'll pose, and I think that's... Uh, that's soon. But in those snow globes, unlike the mystery boxes where you can get a mystery certificate and get a tank for like, uh, you have the, the list of all the tanks and you can get whatever premiums. No, in those snow globes, that's not how it works. Snow globes are gathering the most broken tank. Here is the snow globe, as you can see right there. They gather the most broken statistic talking tank that Wargaming tries to sell you through crates, etc. to limit the number of people actually getting the tank to not have to nerf them because if they don't, the matchmaking would be completely broken. Now, that being said, your chances of getting the new tank out of that snow globe is only 1%. That's something you need to understand. Now that you know that, let's go on to the odds directly. First thing first, let's talk about what you can expect in the shop. And there are several things. The first one being the Shifton MK6, which will have a drop rate in the crates of 2%. I don't know yet if you will have the charm system, which allows you for uh, for 25 bucks open to actually get the Shifton directly in your garage. But I think Wargaming will do something like that because usually it's still quite expensive. Now, there is another thing you need to understand. And as you can see right there, if we zoom a little bit on the image, you see that there is a new tank, the T4485. That's basically a new premium tank Wargaming tested two updates ago, which is a regular T44 on which we mounted the T3485 gun, of course, with some uh, statistics uploaded for it to fit its tier, but it's basically a tier 7 or tier 8 tank. I think it's a tier 8, I don't remember, I should check. But it's like the Rudy. For those of you owning the Rudy, that's pretty much the same playstyle at tier 8, if it's tier 8, and at tier 7, if it's tier 7. For the rest, as you can see, you have a chance to get your Type 59. Uh, that's an emblematic tank. Wargaming puts it pretty much every single year. You nearly have 10% chances to get it, after all. And the AMX first prototype as well for 6.66 chances of getting the tank. Now, uh, for the boosters and stuff, I don't really care, so I'm not going to talk about that. All I want you to understand is that you're going to have crates in which we will have the T4485, the Type 59, the AMX First Prototype, and the Chieftain MK6, which is a premiere in World of Tank Blitz. Usually, we don't have uh, these kind of crates at Christmas, or at least not as I remember, but I might be wrong. Now let's talk about the main subject and I really want you to insist on this part of the video because usually that's where people are getting scammed. When those new crates or snow globes are coming into the game, Wargaming said into the description directly into the game that you have 6% chances of getting a tank. That's true, because if we take a look, the Gravedigger has 6% chances of dropping. But they don't tell you that you have 6% chances on the Gravedigger and the variability of tanks being dropped is different from, uh, from for example, the T22 Medium to the Gravedigger. They just tell you that you have 6% chances of getting a tank, which is legal. It's still a lie, but it's legal. It's a lie by, an, by intentionally not telling you the whole truth. But the whole truth is, if you want to get a chance to get 
the T22 Medium, a VK, or even the new AMX M454, it's only between 1 and 3% chances so be aware of that uh, you have the drop chance there t22 medium two percent vk two percent m63 percent and the main reward which we're going to be interested in the mxm 454 only one percent here nothing new that's the same pretty much every single year and you have the the rest of the of the tanks that are here let me explain to you real quick all those tanks that you can see in the snow globes if they are in the snow globe that means that they will not be in sale in the Blitz Fair, or at least not all of them. Of course, uh, Elsing and Dracula are part of the Blitz Fair auctions pretty much every single year, so you can still expect them to be into the uh, into the Blitz Fair or the auctions if you want. But for the the VK ninety one P T twenty two Medium M sixty M X M four fifty four, all those tier ten collectible tanks, I don't want to advance uh, on telling you that yeah uh, they will not be here, but they might not be there. We, uh, I don't have a clue for the moment, I'm sorry. But at least here on the snow globe, you see what you can get. And cool thing is, at least for this year, it seems like Wargaming decided to remove completely the free experience from those crates or snow globes. Because as you can see, the only reward, which is not a tank, is the 7.5k gold and it's 14% drop chance but i don't know if we calculate if we calculate it real quick and we added all those uh all those statistics here i don't think we will fall on 100% but i might be wrong but i don't think it's the case so i think they will still get something else into those crates in order for you to lower down the probability of dropping one of those amazing tanks Finally, concerning the last news, uh, we have a new battle pass coming, I think everybody knows that, that will start the 1st of December, and this is the main reward. It's basically an M4E3 E1 remastered with new attachment that makes it look like Rudolf, uh, that is its name, which is the deer of Santa Claus, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much a copy paste on the already existing M4E3 E1. Maybe it will have some changes on the characteristics, honestly, as I don't really care about the i didn't check but at least you know there is a new battle pass and that it will start the first of december if you enjoyed that video feel free to subscribe like and share and as soon as i have more leaks i will of course do a video au revoir